Welcome to Instructalism Online Tutorials. In this video, we're going to solve this problem. But before we solve this problem, I would like to explain the whole concept you're seeing on the board. And I'm going to take it one after the other. So if you don't have an idea what board mass is all about, don't worry. I'm going to explain them in one second. But before then, let's talk about the rules so that we made away with this and have a space to solve this problem. The rule of board mass have it that by the time we are done with this or we are done performing this operation with B and O, what does B and O stands for? Yes, that's correct. It stands for bracket order. Order can also be replaced as off. And what does it mean? It means that it means pass square root cube root. That means operation that involves pass square root should be taken care of before you consider that of a, a division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. So, but I'm going to talk about that in details. So, after we perform B and O, which is the bracket and order, this is what we need to do. Start, divide, or multiply from left to right since they perform equally. When we are talking about division and multiplication, when you see them occurring, you can start either whether division comes up first or multiplication comes up first. You can start with any of them from left to right. If they occur on the left and also occur on the right, start from left to right. Whether division first or multiplication, they, are, they perform equally. It's not a problem. And then the second one also, Start addition and subtraction from left to right since they perform equally. Similarly, when you're done with multiplication and division, any one of them would, that occurs first in a particular problem. Similarly, addition and subtraction, any one of them that comes up first in a problem starts from left to right. That is the rule that governs this board mass. So let's remove this part so that we can also explain more of this board mass. So what exactly is the full meaning of board mass? Can you tell me what board mass is all about? Beautiful, excellent, that is correct. B stands for bracket. B stands for bracket and O stands for order. In some cases, you can use of, which I have also details that of or other, that is par, squares, root, cube root. Could be square root, could be cube root, could be fourth root, as the case may be. That is what O stands for, either use other or of. The next one is D, and D stands for division. And the next letter is M. M stands for what? That is correct. Multiplication. The next one is A. A stands for what? Correct. Addition. And the last one, S, stands for what? Excellent. Subtraction. So this is the full meaning of board mass. How do we apply board mass or when should we apply board mass? When we have operation like this, let's start with this basic operations so that we can be able to explain this in details. Expression that we have addition, subtraction, any of these oper operators coming together. Let's say when we have 3 multiplied by 5 plus 2. 3 multiplied by 5 plus 2. Look at the two ways people will want to address this problem. Some will easily say that 5 plus 2, that is what? 7. Thank you. That is correct. And if 5 plus 2 is 7, then what is 7 or 3 times 7? Beautiful. That is 21. So you can see that the result of this gives 21. And Solving this first using these three to multiply by five, what will be the result? Three multiplied by five. Beautiful. 
that is 15 and this adds to 2 15 plus 2 will give us what 17 that's okay 17 if you see that we are having two answers in this case so this is the importance of board mass board mass will say that when you see addition and subtraction in a particular operations like this what you should do is to consider the multiplication first and after you're done with that then you consider addition so this is the correct one because we have to consider multiplication bracket of division multiplication multiplication comes before we have addition and then subtraction as the case may be so that is that for this problem similarly when we have problem like that six times two plus three how do we solve this problem this is where we start with brackets board mass the importance of board mass some person will want to like add this first before multiplying but when you see bracket what you need to do is to work on everything you have in the brackets then when you have the answer you can use it against the one that is not in bracket so here we have six multiplied by two and that is 12 plus three when you add up 12 and three then you have 15 and this is the answer this is the answer to this problem all right so similarly you can try this and that is simple let's work on it together i love it starting with this basis also that when we want to solve this it becomes more simpler so we're having three of four plus nine so i will leave i told you earlier that this of represents multiplication it also stands for when we have pass square root cube root as the case may be in this case we also can treat it as multiplication that means we are apparently saying 3 multiplied by 4 plus 9. Just like what we just solved. Here, you multiply 3 by 4 and this will give you 12 plus 9. And what is 12 plus 9? It is simple. Just say 12 and bring in 9 here. 2 plus 9 gives us what? 11. So you write 1, carry 1. That one will be added to this. That makes it 2. You drop it down so the answer here becomes 21 you can see how these things could be used there are some also compounded problem such that when you see these operations or these uh, brackets these are the meaning we have what we call the bar brackets we have what we call the common bracket all right we also have you can also call this the round bracket we also have the next one called the coily bracket we have the one called the square bracket. Whenever all these things are in operation, I think in the next video, I'm going to bring in problem that involves all of this operation. And when that comes up, okay, I have one here, I have some of them here. When that comes up, you should be able to know what to do at each point in time. We're going to solve it. But before then, let's solve the problem we're having on the board. We're having 4 divided by 3 of half plus 3 over 5 in bracket multiplied by 9. How can we solve this problem? The solution to this problem is simple. Like I said earlier, you have to work on what we have in the bracket. After that, you use it against or the one outside. And before then, we can change this off to multiplication. So we're having 4 over 3 multiplied by, how do we work on this? This is fraction and I've also I've done, it. I've done a video where I showed you the short way of multiplying or adding, subtracting, dividing fraction. The short way you can do this is to multiply this 2 by 5 and 2 multiplied by 5, that gives us 10. So the next point is to multiply the diagonals. So 1 multiplied by 5 will give 5 plus 2 multiplied by 3 and that will give us 6. So by the time you add up 5 plus 6, and that will give 11. So we'll replace this 5 plus 6 with 11, and that is the solution of this. And this is multiplying by 9. This 9, you can also make it over 1, because 9 divided by 1 is also 9. If you're not comfortable with this method, you can still do it with the usual method, looking for the LCM of 2 and 5, and the LCM is 10. 
2 into 10, that is 5. And 5 times 1 is 5, plus 5 into 10, that is 2. And 2 times 3, that is 6. And 5 plus 6 gives 11 over 10. That's the same thing. All right? I hope that makes sense to you. All right. So, in a nutshell, at this point, you can multiply the numerators together and also multiply the denominators, denominator together and then you get the answer but where it appears that the numbers are big what you need to do is to start reducing it 3 goes into itself 1 3 goes into 9 how many times? 3 times 2 goes into 4 how many times? 2 and then 2 goes into 10 how many times? 5 so what do we have? we have 2 multiplied by 11 multiplied by 3 and if 2 multiplied by 11 that is 22 and 22 multiplied by 3 that is 66 so we have 66 divided by what do we have here 1 multiplied by 5 and this this is 5 and this is supposed to be the solution to this problem but this appears to be an improper fraction of course in the, in the video i'll drop the link to that uh, topic fraction the first topic we treated we talked about the types of fraction and this appears to be the uh, improper fraction because the numerator is greater than the denominator so what do we do at this point we say that if 5 goes into 66 you can do that quickly using the calculator to save time 66 divided by 5 that would give us 13.2 that means 5 can go into 66 30, 13 times so we have 13 times so if we have 13 multiplied by 5 what will be the result that is 65 so that means how many number will be added to make it 66 that is 1 so we have 1 over 5 this is what we call the mixed fraction and this appears to be the solution to this problem all right so you can see how simple this question could be or how we can be able to apply odd mass in in real mathematics all right so before we end the video i want to solve one of these and that is this particular last problem that we have 36 divided by we have 8 plus 6 minus 2 and we have the bar bracket what happened when we see bar bracket of course we have the normal the common bracket and also we have the bar bracket you start wherever you see the bar bracket remove it first and in course of removing the bar bracket what do we do we just cancel it out and when we cancel it out we have 36 divided by 8 plus 6 minus 2 that gives us 4 and then we still have this common bracket so and because it is common bracket what is the next thing you should do you add up this 8 plus 2 Four, and that will give us 12 and finally we're having 36 divided by 12 and that of course should give us 3 now let's check so that we will be sure 36 divided by 12 and the result is 3 and that is so simple how that makes sense to you all right i will want you to drop the solution to these three problems the solution to this three problem in the description of this video just attempt i'm going to guide you to see into the solution with you so thank you and i hope this video makes a lot of sense to you so if you've not subscribed to my channel please click on the subscribe button and also like this video thank you and stay subscribed peace